And welcome to Whippoorwill Holler. I'm Miss Lori, and this is Mr. Brown. We live in the hills of Arkansas. We love the Lord. Keepers of the old way, but accept some of the new. We love to cook, and we love to eat. We love to garden. It's in our blood. It's how we stay sustainable and fill our pantry. We do a lot of canning and preserving. We live a sustainable life. We love our family. We work hard. And every once in a while, we like to dance. So y'all join us. We know so many of us are still getting zucchini out of the garden and I put quite a bit of it up in the freezer already. But then you're thinking, what other recipes can I make with zucchini? Well, there's thousands of them out there. But I was thinking, you know, it's so hot. What would be so good today? Well, I had some lemons in the refrigerator and I thought, how about some lemon zucchini bread? Or you could make muffins out of it. You could even do it in a 9 by 13 uh, cake bin. But I'm going to make mine in two 5 by 9 loaf pans. So I got my zucchini grated. I've got my lemons ready. I've got all my ingredients here. So let's get started and make us some really, really good lemon zucchini bread. Or cake. Or muffins. Whatever. They're going to be good. In this pan right here, I've got two cups. Now, the recipe calls for two cups of cake flour. Uh, if you don't have cake flour, you can use two cups of all-purpose flour. But in the description down below the video, I'll, I'll give you the recipe for making cake flour. So I've got two cups of cake flour, or all-purpose flour, whichever one in here. I've got two teaspoons of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of salt. And I'm just going to mix this up. Now you could do this with a, a hand mixer or just your regular mixer. But you know what? I'm just going to do mine by hand because I don't want to wash a bunch of extra dishes today. So sometimes I get a little bit lazy and wanting to do all the dishes and I'll just do it by hand. Okay, in this bowl, we are going to take... Let's see, we got a half a cup of oil. Now you can use whatever oil that you use to bake or cook with, vegetable oil, canola oil, peanut oil, whatever. You need a half a cup of it. And you're gonna need a cup and a third of sugar, or you can use a sugar substitute um, you can use monk fruit. I'm just going to stir that up. You know what? I'm not going to use that. It's going to make too much noise. Let's see. I should have a spatula in here. I keep, I forget because I'm so used to doing it. You know, I get my enamel bowls out that I use all the time, and I just mix them, and I don't think nothing of it. And then I get on making videos, and I forget. I forget that it makes too much noise. When I'm using my enamel bowls, I forget it makes too much noise for people, some people. And, you know, when you're just at home doing it, you don't think nothing of it. So... I got my rubber spatula here. I'm gonna mix this up. So this is our cup and a third of sugar and half a cup of oil. Um, let's see. I got two eggs that I'm gonna put in here. Two medium to large eggs. I'm just gonna mix this up. You know, I'm still getting zucchini and squash. My zucchini's kind of slowed down, but I'm still getting 
enough to put up in the freezer. And when I put it up in the freezer, I measure out usually a cup to each package. Some of my recipes call for one cup and some call for two cups. So if I've got a recipe that calls for two cups of shredded zucchini, I uh, just get two packages out. So I've got that creamed up together good. You need a half a cup of buttermilk. Just mix that up good. And you can see here, <laughs> this is my table that I usually do my baking on, but I've got all this garden stuff. I've got some more peas I'm going to have to shell tonight. I've got some squash here that needs to be cooked. i got tomatoes up here. i got some I'm going to put in the freezer, and then some we're going to we're going to be eating on probably tonight with a salad. Okay, that's all of our wet ingredients except for our cup. This is a whole cup of shredded zucchini and uh, I pressed some of the moisture out but not all of it and I've got it packed in this pretty good, this one cup. I'll mix that up. I'm going to look at my recipe and make sure I've not forgot anything. I got my cake flour, my baking powder, salt, eggs, oil, sugar, buttermilk, lemon juice is right here. I got two tablespoons of lemon juice, fresh lemon juice. Whoops. Now, I thought I got all them seeds out of there. I don't think Danny would like it if he bit into a seed. <laughs> so that was two tablespoons of freshly a fresh lemon juice. Now some of y'all probably ask me if you can just use bottled lemon juice. You can, but it just don't taste as fresh to me. It kind of has that artificial taste, but if that's all you got, I want you to look at that. I thought I got all them seeds out, and there's two seeds in there. <laughs> so that was our zucchini and all of our wet ingredients. I'm also going to put the zest of one lemon in here. And this smells so good. It smells so just so refreshing with that lemon in there. Okay, I'm going to bring our dry ingredients over here. I'll pour this in here. Stir this up good. If you're not able to, to grow a garden or you weren't able to do zucchini this year, um, usually the farm stands, your, your farmer's market and stuff right now will have zucchini, different, some yellow squash. Now, if you wanted to, there's a few things that you can add to this, just to take it over the top. You can put some blueberries in here. We all know that lemon and blueberries go wonderful together. You can also put some poppy seeds in here. Now, I was going to put blueberries, and I forgot to take them out of the freezer. I don't have to take them out of the freezer and use them, but they're, out in the <laughs> they're way out there in the shop in the freezer, and I don't want to go get them. I forgot them. And I would put poppy seeds in here, but I just really feel like Mr. Brown, Danny, would not want the poppy seeds in there. So that's just an idea of a couple things that would go with the lemon zucchini bread. So we've got that stirred up good. Don't have to be perfect, but it's got a few lumps. That tastes really good. I can taste the lemon in it. It's got a really good taste. Okay. Let me get some of this stuff out of the way. That's a clean measuring pitcher. That's clean. My baking soda. 
or bacon powder, sorry. That was bacon powder. Now we're going to get our two pans out. Now this is not a thick batter, that's for sure. And what I usually like to do to make sure that I get the same amount, you know, in each one, I like to measure it out a little bit and, you know, kind of go back and forth with it. I've got my oven heated or heating, preheating to 350. If you got, and it's so hot, if you wanted to, if you got a little countertop stove like I've got, you can use it. If you've got a sun oven, um, I can't really use my sun oven much here on this hill because we live out in the woods and you're, you've got to have direct sun. You have to have it at a certain level all the time and it just, it just don't work good here. We got too many very tall trees that you would constantly be out there. You're having to change that sun oven. Now, get, don't get me wrong. If I had to use it, I would. I'd take it plumb down the bottom of the hauler if I had to and use it away from the trees. But at this point, I don't have to. <laughs> so. I think I can get it pretty much even now. Not perfect, but close. We'll put a glaze on this too when it comes out. Use a little bit more lemon in the glaze, lemon juice. It's really going to be good. And I'm not sure um, how much, since I divided it in two bread pans, I'm not sure how tall this is going to rise. We'll see once it cooks. If you want a really tall loaf, you could put this all this batter in one bread pan. But I'm wanting to share it, so. So there we go. We're gonna put this in a 350 oven and cook it for, let's see, I don't remember. Hmm, what's it say? It says bake about 50 minutes. I just don't think it's going to take that long in my oven. But we'll check it and see. Especially since I divided it out like this. One uh, one loaf with it, you know, more batter in there. Probably take 50 minutes, but we'll see. So while our bread is baking, I thought we'd just talk a minute. Um, how's y'all's garden doing? I know a lot of y'all say y'all are just having, you know, really good deer, and I'm so happy because a lot of y'all were right with us last year. We was in such a drought, and we just didn't get hardly anything out of the garden. But, you know, it was okay. Um, we still had a lot of stuff put up from the year before. And, you know, all through the winter, I like to can and put stuff up. And we've got other people that, that would give us... Uh, pears and peaches and fruit and uh, I would go to the farmers market and every once in a while I was able to get a few things because everybody, most people on this side of uh, northeast Arkansas, even south of us last year was in a pretty good drought so but this year has been a really good year except oh the deer, one of the mama deers decided she'd jump over in the garden a while back and eat my okra down but that's okay. Some of that okra's coming back, and uh, I got I went out there and planted some more. So maybe I'll get some before you know it gets too cold. And I, also, that being said, we've got local farmers, and I had seen on Facebook, and this farm was not too far from us. They're at Black Rock, and uh, they were selling okra by the pound and I just got barely got some and I called them and asked them if they had some left and the lady said yeah probably about six seven eight pounds I said I want all of it <laughs> so you know and people are so kind because not only did she save it for me she was coming to to Envoden where I work 
and she brought it and I, I met her somewhere in Bowden and I picked that okra up. That was so nice. And let's see, I did grow some corn over at my daughter's house. She had a good place to grow corn and it has done really well. Um, but I was just wanting to put a lot of corn up. So we had another, no, it was the same farm there at Black Rock, Spain's, Spain's farm. And uh, I got quite a bit of corn from them and it's in the freezer right now. I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be making some cream corn and putting it in the freezer before long. I just, we've been gone and so busy. I just I haven't had time. Uh, let's see, the tomatoes are really doing good this year. Cucumbers, um, squash, and our red ripper peas also known as cow peas. And some of these are about 10 inches long. And um, they're still growing. And I have a feeling we're fixing to be putting a lot of peas up, y'all. And I will be sharing them, too. My cousin sent me back from Texas with some creamer peas. So I've got them, too, in the freezer. I can't wait to get them cooked up. But I'm hoping that y'all are having a good growing season. I've been seeing a lot of pictures on Facebook and stuff. Uh, if you... Are looking for me on Facebook. I'm not under Whipple World Holler. I am under Laura Brown, L O R A Brown, and that's where you'll find me. And you'll know it when you see me because you'll see Mr. Brown on the picture. Let's make us some lemon glaze to put on our lemon zucchini bread. I've got a good cup of powdered sugar and when I say a good cup it was you know heaping full and I sifted it and I've got a couple tablespoons of lemon juice and I'm going to start putting in just a little bit of whipping cream or you can use half and half or you can just use milk you use whatever you got and it's just about that easy So there you go. That is your lemon glaze. It'll thicken up just a little bit. I don't want it real thick, but I don't want it too thin either. Yummy. Whew. That is just right. Make you pucker. Make you pucker just a little bit, but not much. That's why I like it. Okay, we're still waiting for the bread to come out. I hope you enjoyed this recipe because I'm going to tell you something. It is absolutely larping. It is absolutely delicious. It is so moist. It's not too sweet, believe it or not. As much sugar that was in it, it's not too sweet. Even with that little bit of lemon icing, it's wonderful. So I hope you try this recipe. If y'all will wait and go to the very, very end of this video, I'm going to have the recipe wrote down for you so you can pause the video and write the recipe down. And I'll also add the recipe for making cake flour. We love y'all so much. We'll be seeing y'all in a few days. I want y'all to have a wonderful weekend and a start to a new week next week. We love y'all so much. God loves you. We'll be seeing you. God bless.